Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about mixed number fractions. Previously we said that fractions are numbers that are less than one. But what if we have more than one of something and a small part that goes next to it? That's a mixed number fraction and in this video we're going to talk about what they look like and how to write them down. Here we have three pieces of paper, but how will we write this amount of paper down? Have a little look and see if you can work out how many we have here on that third piece of paper. Hopefully you notice that we've got two holes. We've got one hole here, another hole here, and hopefully you saw that this one is divided into sixths. We've got that last sixth missing here. So if we were to write this number down, we would say we've got two holes and five sixths. We've got one hole here, we've got the second hole here, and we've got one, two, three, four, five sixths there. This is a mixed number fraction because you can see the amount of holes that we have and the fraction of the third piece of paper that's less than one. I wonder how this would look if we had it on a number line. Here you can see I've drawn a number line showing the amount of paper I have above. As we know, fractions are less than one, but gradually build up to one as well. So obviously I've started with zero for no paper, but then I've got one sixth, two sixths, three, four, five, and then six sixths, which is one. That means that that is that one whole piece of paper. Then I've got one and one sixth, one and two sixths, one and three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, and six sixths, which then makes two. My last piece of paper is represented here and here in our number line, because we've got two and one sixth, two and two sixths, two and three sixths, two and four sixths, two and five sixths. We don't have the final sixth to make it three whole pieces of paper. Let's take a look at another example. Here I've made another mixed number fraction. Take a look and see if you can work out what it is. Hopefully you've seen that we've got one whole piece of paper here, but what is the fraction that's less than the whole? We can look at it carefully and see that it's been divided into four. That means that we're talking about making quarters. So this mixed number fraction is one whole and three quarters. Just to remind you, we know it's quarters because we can see that the second part that is less than one has been split into four. If I put that back, we then have two whole pieces of paper. When I take it away, it makes it have one and three quarters. Let's see if we can make this on a number line too. Here's a number line showing what we've got. We start with zero and we know that fractions are less than one, so we have to start with less than one. And we know we're counting in quarters because our fraction has four parts. So we've got zero, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, one. We don't write four over four because it's the whole, we write one. Then we have one and one quarter, one and two quarters, one and three quarters, which is what we've got in front of us. But remember, if we added that extra quarter back, we'd have two holes. 